This information, it may take just a moment to process here. A woman who was founded an adoption agency is now accused of paying pregnant inmates to put their unborn babies up for adoption, and now she's charged with an unusual crime. Yeah, Lauren Crawford joins us live from the Tarrant County Jail. Uh, Lauren, this case is spanning different parts of the state, but it also has ties here in North Texas. Hey, good morning. That's right. Investigators say the suspect lives in Kyle, Texas, just outside of Austin and was arrested at her home. However, it was here at the Tarrant County Jail where detectives say she paid money to pregnant inmates to put their unborn babies up for adoption. Now, Jody Hall is charged with sale or purchase of a child, which is a felony in Texas. She bonded out of jail in Central Texas. Her adoption agency is named Adoptions International. According to a statement from the Tarrant County Sheriff's Office, during this investigation, information was discovered that Jody Hall was paying money to multiple pregnant Tarrant County inmates for the purpose of placing their unborn children up for adoption with Hall's agency. The sheriff's office says it began investigating what it calls unethical adoption practices back in May, and that led to Hall's arrest. The adoption agency's ability to perform international adoptions was revoked by the State Department several years ago. Uh, we have not been able to reach Hall for a comment since she posted bail, but of course, this is a developing story we'll continue to stay on top of. Live in Fort Worth, Lauren Crawford, CBS News. Texas. All right, Lauren, thanks so much. And with a story like this, our assignment desk plays a key role in it. That's right. Ashley Moss is here now live from our newsroom. And you actually have been getting information about this in order to kind of bring a lot more context, Ashley, right? Yeah, you, as you guys heard Lauren say, this is a developing story that we're going to continue to follow. And you, when you hear us say that, you're probably thinking, what does that actually mean? Well, you heard, uh, you may have heard Lauren say that we did reach out to Lauren Hall, we, or Jody Hall, rather. We reached out to Jody directly. We're also trying to figure out if there is an attorney for her, just to see if we can get any kind of direct response from her. We're also trying to track down those arrest warrants. We have reached out to county sheriffs, and we will be reaching out to Tarrant County Sheriff today to try to fill in some of those gaps, try to figure out what led authorities to her directly and what led up to that arrest. We're also trying to figure out, is this happening at any other county jails? And you heard the international accreditation was revoked. Now we're also checking in with county and state regulations to see how this impacts them. And then we're also trying to track down any other accusations across the state to see how this is affecting and interfering. So when we say we're continuing to follow it, that's what we mean. And of course, we'll keep you you guys updated on air and especially online cbsnewstexas.com all right ashley thanks so much for that context